Collecting Carolina takes us down memory lane with a visit to an old-timey tobacconist shop in Wilmington. Julia Carpenter is exploring a popular collectibles category known as Tabacchiana. Very interesting what she discovers. Do you remember this popular radio show of the late 40s and 50s? The Raleigh Cigarette Program starring Red Skelton. How about this 1890s bladder of snuff? Check out the tax stamps. Or this replica of the Good Luck Lighter from It's a Wonderful Life. Or these. Collecting tobacco memorabilia is a very popular pastime. I found a traditional tobacco shop in Wilmington that has a small museum which contains a fascinating assortment of items and today enjoys a dedicated customer following. Tim, tell us how this old-timey tobacco shop got started. Well, my father was, a, uh, was an educator most of his life, and uh, he started in 1949, and, and of course he always had a pipe in his mouth. And you never saw my father without a pipe in his mouth. And after he finished his educational career, he wanted to focus in on something that was a hobby of his, and that was pipe smoking. So he opened the pipe, our Davis and Son Tobacconist, we, we opened that in 1976. Julia, here in the back of the store, I have some of the collectibles that I've accumulated over the years. Most of it is going to be tobacco tins, pipe tobacco. There's a few cigarette articles in here. but. Um, People around North Carolina will be familiar with Piedmont cigarettes, uh, Sir Walter Raleigh pipe tobacco, Union Leader pipe tobacco. Those were all very popular uh, tobacco products back in the 30s, 40s, 50s, and 60s. Uh, there's still a lot of people that will collect your signs and, and um, any, anything that has to do with, with tobacco. It's been a big business for collectors, and hard, they're getting harder to find, and they're a lot more expensive than they used to be also. <laughs> sure. It's probably a good thing if you're a collector. Sure. <laughs> so this is a personal collection? A uh, personal collection, but... Do you uh, trade it? Do you no, you? not at all. Never sold a single thing. <laughs> Don't want to. What do we have here, Tim? These are all mini cheroot and nose warmer pipes made out of meerschaum. <laughs> nose warmer. Tell us what a nose warmer is. A nose warmer is a real short pipe, three to four inches long, that people would use in the 1840s, 1850s to smoke cigars, or in some cases, women smoke these. And probably 95% of the, the antique cheroot pipes like this were themed with animals. So you'll see a lot of horses, you'll see a lot of eagles, you'll see a lot of rams. Fascinating. And dogs and cats. And dogs and cats. <laughs> the old sacks of cigarette tobacco. A lot of people couldn't afford ready rolls because they were five and seven and 10 cents a pack, so they rolled their own. So you'd buy a little sack of tobacco like Bull Durham or Dukes or Stud, uh, Country Gentleman, and it came with a pack of cigarette papers and they'd roll their own cigarettes. I see some coupons in the back. Um, those are actually um, some of the first cigarette cards that went in packs. They started doing that around 1910, and a pack of cigarettes at that time only had 10 cigarettes, and they needed a piece of cardboard so that in between the two so they wouldn't crush. Those, they decided to put different baseball players and different things on it like that, animals, and that's where your baseball cards came from, cigarettes, not bubble gum. Laurie, these are very attractive cigar boxes. Tell us how the ladies are using them. Yes, ma'am. The ladies come in, they love our boxes. They take them and make purses out of them. They also use them for jewelry boxes. They'll take them and stack them for cocktail, on their cocktail tables and beautiful lamps. And I see, too, there's this rather lovely dish. Yes, ma'am. A customer of ours, Nurse Dickey from Baby's Hospital, made this for Tim's dad, Jack, and she made it all out of cigar labels, and it's a lovely tray. There's always been a tradition of smoking a cigar at the birth of a baby. Can you tell us why? Yes, it starts from home first. When women would be at home having their child in labor, the men would be in their other room waiting, smoking their cigar with their friends. So they're just relaxing. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tobacchiana collectibles of tobacco related memorabilia the north carolina weekend and collecting carolina i'm julia carpenter davis and son tobacconist is at 3807 oleander drive in wilmington and they're open monday through saturday from 10 a.m to 7 p.m 
For more information about their Tabakiana collection, give them a call at 910-791-6688 or go online to davisonson.com. For more information about the Collecting Carolina series, go to our website, unc.tv slash collecting.